If you think that pressing restart fixes your computer's problems, whether it's frozen, a program suddenly crashed, or a system error occurred, then you need to hear this shocking truth. Restart doesn't always fix problems. In some cases, it might actually be the cause of them. In this video, you'll learn why restart doesn't always solve issues and sometimes makes them even worse. Stay with me until the end for a topic you've probably never heard of before, backed by solid proof. In the past, when you hit restart, your computer would shut down everything and start fresh. But starting from Windows 8, 10, and 11, Microsoft introduced a sneaky feature called Fast Startup. Fast Startup deceives you. Instead of shutting down all processes, it saves parts of them in temporary memory, so your PC can boot up quickly. About the problem, any existing errors before restart will still be there afterward. If you have a corrupted file, a faulty driver, a hidden virus, Restart won't remove it. Here's why. Restart fails to solve problems RAM, random access memory, isn't fully cleared. Some processes remain stuck in RAM even after restart, meaning any issue causing slowdowns or freezes will persist. System files aren't fully reloaded. Some files are retrieved from temporary memory instead of loading fresh copies, which means system errors may continue even after restart. The CPU processor isn't fully reset. When you restart, the CPU doesn't erase all its internal processes, so software bugs or overheating issues might still be present, even after a reboot. The most dangerous part. Viruses can exploit restart against you. Advanced malware like rootkits and firmware malware can hide inside your system even after restart. These viruses operate at a deeper level within your system, BIOS UEFI, making restart useless, or worse, helping the virus spread further. Does Microsoft know about this? Of course, in fact, Microsoft is the one that created Fast Startup. And the reason? They want Windows to boot up quickly, even at the expense of system stability. They don't want you relying on shutdown because it completely closes all processes. If errors are stored in memory instead of being fully closed, fewer reports are generated, making it seem like Windows has fewer issues. They want you to think hardware is the issue, not Windows, increasing new PC sales. If restart causes issues, why does it sometimes improve performance? Because some temporary memory is cleared, but not all of it. If the issue is in the kernel or fast startups stored files, restart won't do anything. How to fix this? Disable fast startup in power settings to force Windows to fully shut down. Use shutdown instead of restart, and wait 15 seconds before turning the PC back on. If the system has errors, use these commands, sfc slash scano, chkdsk slash f slash r. If you suspect a virus, don't restart. Run a deep scan first. Restart isn't just a simple button. It can be a trap for viruses, a source of hidden problems, and a trick Microsoft uses to make Windows seem faster than it really is. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because what's coming next about Windows in the digital world is even more shocking.